Start by referring to your owner's manual to see your vehicle's requirements for an oil change. Here is a list of all the items needed. In this case, our vehicle has a lift kit, so a jack and jack stand are not required. Next, locate your vehicle's oil drain plug. With the drain pan in place, remove the oil drain plug. In our case, it's a 13 millimeter socket. Move the drain plug pan with the stream of the oil as needed. Locate your engine's oil filter. Ours is under the hood on the top of the engine. They can also be located underneath the vehicle next to the oil pan. When removing the oil filter, keep a rag to catch the oil drip. Remove the oil filter. Clean around the drain plug hole before reinstalling. Reinstall the drain plug, making it snug. Do not over tighten. Remove the rubber o-ring gasket around the oil filter cover. To remove, use a small flathead screwdriver. Replace the rubber o-ring gasket and lubricate it before reinstalling it to the vehicle. Insert the new oil filter. Reinstall the oil filter cover, make it snug, do not over tighten, or it could cause damage. Wipe off any oil that may have dripped. Remove the
the oil cap and insert your funnel. Add your oil. This vehicle requires six quarts. Put your oil cap back on and check your oil levels. Reset your vehicle's oil life monitoring system if equipped. On this vehicle, turn the vehicle on ACC, scroll down to vehicle information, scroll down to oil life, press the accelerator pedal three times. Start your vehicle. your vehicle's hood and the job is complete. Drain any used oil into the oil container and take it to your local auto parts store or recycling center. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more weekly videos. Check the description for more information.